They've made a lot of progress today. Check out this pile so far. They're cutting down dead trees to cut down on the risk of wildfires. These things range anywhere from about 10 pounds to 50 or so. One, two, three. It's a heavy load to carry now. A helper. Teamwork. But the consequences of not doing it are even heavier. Catastrophic wildfire, um, quite honestly. Annie Oaks. All right. Woo! And dozens of other volunteers are with Team Rubicon, a veteran-led organization. It's like therapy while they're out here um, serving the community. So we just try to show up wherever we can be needed, wherever disaster strikes. This time, they're hoping to make a difference before disaster strikes. After what we saw take place a few years ago uh, with the Marshall Fire, it became evident that we needed to start focusing a little bit more on doing some urban mitigation to help um, reduce the risk of that happening again in another area here in the Denver Metro. They woke up bright and early. Uh, we rallied at about uh, 730 this morning. To clear dead trees and brush out of Van Biver open space in Arvada. Uh, we have, as you can see behind me, we have many different homes and across the street, we have many apartment complexes. So there's a lot of people's, um, a lot of people's livelihoods are at stake here. That's not only dangerous for the homeowners um, and for the, the structure's ability to survive that fire, it's dangerous for our firefighters too because they don't have an area to work in. Brady Johnson with Arvada Fire Protection District says they and Jefferson County Open Space have had an eye on this project for about nine months now. All these homes here, um, their odds of uh, surviving a wildfire um, are much, much better now. They hope their heavy lifting now. This is a, what we call TR CrossFit. Will lead to a lighter load in the future. If our work positively affects one person, it's worth it. And the job's not done. They'll be back out here tomorrow morning to finish. In Arvada, Lawrence Caffiti, 9 News.